Up in Green Bay, the Packers quarterback coach Bart Starr remarked, the Chicago Bears may be winless, but up here, they'll play like champions. They're a funny team. Funny, snorted Chicago's new head coach, Abe Gibran. The Bears are about as funny as a punch in the face on a cold day. And it was on that note that the Bears and the Packers resumed the oldest rivalry in pro football. From the beginning, it was apparent that Chicago's cute blonde quarterback, Bobby Douglas, was going to have trouble making advances against a very mean green defense. Number 83, Clarence Williams put it on the Bears' Jim Harrison, and the defense took control early. Defense registered the Packers' first score. When Jim Harrison fumbled, Clarence Williams recovered and outraced Bobby Douglas 21 yards for the touchdown. Scott Hunter brought the Packers right back, hitting tight end Lynn Garrett in his second year out of New Mexico Highlands for an apparent 55-yard touchdown. But Malcolm Snyder was detected holding, and the play was nullified. On the next series, in slow motion, Hunter lofted a pass for Dave Davis. Joe Taylor deflected the ball, and John Staggers made a hustling, diving, catching carry into the end zone, building a 17-3 halftime lead for Green Bay. But Bobby Douglas sent Cyril Pender two yards to cap a 10-play drive in the third period, making it 17 to 10. And Douglas kept the Bears rolling in the second half, hitting number 43, George Farmer, for a 46-yard gain. From there, Douglas scrambled around left end for two yards and the tying touchdown. But the resurgence of Packer power is for real, and with 34 seconds remaining, Chester Marcole once again made his presence felt booting through a 37-yarder, dividing the pack from the late rallying Bears 20 to 17.